John Lee, the former security chief who oversaw the government's crackdown on pro-democracy protests in 2019, was elected unopposed as Hong Kong's new leader on Sunday. Lee garnered one. 416 votes in his favor versus 8 votes that did not support him from the roughly 1, 500 members of the election committee that was revamped last year to ensure that only patriots govern Hong Kong. Having restored order from chaos, it is high time that Hong Kong starts a new chapter. Lee will begin his five-year term as Hong Kong's chief executive on July 1, when Chinese President Xi Jinping is expected to visit the city as part of celebrations marking 25 years of Chinese rule of the former British colony. It marks the first time a career policeman has been elevated to the city's top job. Since Hong Kong's return to Chinese sovereignty in 1997, Four people have led the city as chief executive, two were career civil servants, one was a shipping tycoon and the other was a chartered surveyor. And each has had the unenviable task of balancing the priorities of the central government against those of Hong Kong's public. During his campaign, Lee had pledged that his administration would adopt a result-oriented approach. His platform promised to strengthen governance, improve housing, boost the city's competitiveness while building a caring and inclusive society. Lee's manifesto was only unveiled nine days before the election, and many have questioned it due to its lack of details. Lee has also stated that he intends to enact long-shelf legislation known as Article 23 of the Basic Law, the city's mini-constitution. The bill would prohibit acts of treason, secession, sedition and subversion against China. However, when it was introduced in 2003, it sparked widespread opposition and protests due to the law's vague and ambiguous terms that could be used to curb the city's rights and freedoms. The outcome of Sunday's poll was never in doubt after China's liaison office told local politicians and business leaders in early April that Li would be the only candidate for the job with the blessing of President Xi Jinping's government, according to local media reports. By mid-April, Li had already managed to secure 786 nominations from the almost 1, 500 members that make up the election committee. Among his backers were some of the city's wealthiest tycoons, including CK Asset Holdings Chairman Victor Lee, the eldest son of Lee Ka-shing, Henderson Land Co-Chairman Martin Lee Ka-shing, the younger son of Lee Shao Qi, as well as Shun Chak Holdings Chairman Pansy Ho, daughter of the late Stanley H.